to Idaho now where investigators are gathering more evidence against the man accused of killing four college students. Fox's Jonathan Hunt tonight with a list of items authorities are now combing through. The house behind me where those four students were so brutally murdered is and will remain a crime scene for some time as investigators continue to build their case against accused killer 28-year-old Brian Koberger. Over the last couple of days, those investigators have been removing more items from this house. Those items included mattresses. And you'll remember, of course, that at least some of those students were killed as they slept in their beds. Forensics experts talking to Fox say that investigators will likely gain a whole lot more DNA evidence from this scene. Listen here. And it's not just blood. We're talking about any kind of touch DNA like dead uh, skin cells that are that are sloughing off. Uh, you also have hair transfer, fiber transfer. All of these things are going through. And here's, here's key. If he has blood on him, he's going to contact the surfaces that he's walking on and touching. Powerful evidence. Brian Koberger, meantime, remains in the county jail just a couple of miles from the house. He made his first court appearance, of course, last Thursday. He will make another appearance this coming Thursday. That, though, is just a status hearing. We are unlikely to learn much more about the case against him. In the meantime, University of Idaho students will be returning to Moscow for their spring semester, which begins this week. For many of them, it will be the first time they have been back here since fleeing in the immediate aftermath of those brutal murders. So it will be an emotional week for many students here in Moscow, Idaho. Jonathan Hunt. Fox News.